Hi guys, today I made a special video for you, we hit 3000 subscribes and I wanted to thank you all with a JRY Shakes tutorial. This is part 2 of JRY Shakes, enjoy the video. Go to the moment where your two clips are and create new adjustment layer. From that point, hold shift button and press page down button 3 times to go 30 frames forward. Cut the adjustment layer there. Also cut the beginning of it. I will rename that adjustment layer to, Shakes. Now add motion tile effect on Shakes layer. Under the motion tile we have to animate the tile center to create a vertical shake animation. At the very beginning of Shakes layer click on tile center stopwatch icon. Move tile center a bit down. Note, do not move center too much, cause your shakes will look so weird. Press U on your keyboard to open keyframes. Now hold shift and press page down to go 10 frames forward. Move tile center up a bit like in this video. Again, hold shift and press page down to go 10 frames forward. Move tile center a bit down now. Now go to very end of the shakes layer, then right click on tile center and select, reset. This will bring tile center to normal in the end of the layer. Play back the video and check if everything is okay. We have now this edge issue, to solve it, toggle on mirror edges. That's fixed, also change height to, 120, and let's add another effect. Add turbulent displace to shakes layer. At the very beginning of shakes layer, click on amount stopwatch icon. Change amount to 60, now go to very end of shakes layer and change amount to 0. If it's too strong like in my case, at the beginning, decrease amount to 40. That's way better. Now click on size stopwatch icon at the beginning of shakes layer. Change size to 150. Then go to very end of the layer and change size to 500. Add directional blur effect now. At the beginning click on blur length stopwatch icon and change amount to 50. Now go to the end of the layer and change blur length to 0. The shake effect is ready. If you want to save that shake as a preset, watch my tutorial, how to save any effect as a preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.